Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of our Matter 17 Relocation Franchise. Now, obviously we're here for a reason. Now last week we took an L to the Seattle Seahawks, which ended our Super Bowl run for this year. In the championship games, we have the Seahawks and the Falcons and the Chargers and the Bills. So it's not all bad, man. I'm hoping the Falcons win that game, to be honest. I mean, I, I don't even care, to be honest. Don't forget guys, 100 thumbs up on this video and I'll keep dropping the Dreadnoughts on a routine basis. There is one thing that can cheer me up and that is the off season. The best time of the year in my opinion. Alright, so Marcus Strickland is the starter for the NFC. We have Zeke of course, uh, Tank Perrin Crow. Gene Pierre made it as wide receiver number one, followed by Braxton Goff, that's pretty cool. Julio Jones slipped all the way down to four. We have anybody else, we have Zach Martin. Chance Scandalbury actually made it for left tackle too. Kawhi Page Moss made it, Travis Frederick made it, that's crazy. How did our backup right tackle make it? That's our backup right tackle, dude. Bro, this is rigged. I don't know how they chose 269 overalls. Ugh. Khalil Mack made it as a starter. Kandichi also made it as a starter. So we have pretty much our whole fucking... Ricky Lincoln made the team as well. No pen. So Ricky Lincoln made it, but there's no pen, which is really, really suspect. Elijah Wan Snell made it, who we drafted and traded to the Red Dragons. Van Buren made it as the kick returner. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. So I think about eight of our players made the team, and I'm pretty sure... All of them were starters. Look, Skip even said, rest in peace, my Super Bowl pick. That was referring to us, by the way. All right, let's check out who at least made it to the Super Bowl. It's going to be the Chargers and the Falcons. So the team that beat us barely lost to Atlanta, 35 to 30. Seattle, once again, the smart ass has dropped 13 in the last quarter. Easily the best part of the year, the free agency, the draft, doing all the things we want to do. Let's go ahead and check out free agents, yeah? Oh, we have 10K. Wow, so this guy was competing with Strickland the entire year, and turns out that the dude is now in the free agency. So, I'm gonna actually check this guy out. Woo! Shit, okay. Only four years pro, six foot six, 99 awareness, 99 medium, 99 short. Holy shit. Yo, he's the best quarterback in the NFL, hands down. Ah, oh, man, we can't sign anybody though, because we only have 10K. Like, I'm gonna just check if this is legit or not. Yeah, we don't have the cap, bro. We can't sign anybody in the free agency. That's a letdown. Looking at the defense, we're pretty much solid as everybody's developing. Our worst position is cornerback, and our worst cornerback is a quick development, who's like one year pro or something. So you all know the plan for this year is to pick up our running back. Where is my dude in the third round? Nate Raglan. This is the guy that we are after. Combine stats don't look that great though. 26 in speed. That's not too bad. 459 for 240 pounds isn't that bad. 259 was what Leonard Fournette ran. I'm pretty sure. Something like that. Something close to that. 23rd in the bench press, nothing too crazy though, he does have the good stiff arm, good carrying, B plus trucking, we need a power back. We also have Dixon Curse, the 6 foot 3, 226 power back from Marshall, first in the bench press, ran a 446, which is pretty impressive. We also have Damon Lacey power back from Boise State, man this is a stack draft. There is one person I do want to look at though, and that is Leroy Tatum. Nah, we definitely got to get... I'm pretty sure we're going to stick with Raglan, because this guy... I mean, he's good. Don't get me wrong, he's very good. But I think Raglan's going to be better. So we got Leroy Tatum, obviously. We got Josh Frey, who is a strong safety, 7.3. Runs a 4-4-2, which is pretty good. Of course, we have a Togway, a strong safety, but I just put him on there for shits and gigs. If we're going to get anything, if we're going to take a gamble and invest into anything, I think it has to be cornerback. But even then, we don't really need a cornerback, you know what I mean? We also have Harris Kaiser. A minus, B plus, B plus. First in the bottom four combine report events, though. All right, so let's check out the team. Let's be very serious about this, because apart from the draft, I know a lot of you guys like to see stars join the team. We have to apply some more XP as well, because it turns out after that game that we lost, we actually got quite a bit of XP on a lot of people. I don't mind Regis. We gave him a lot of shit, but I don't mind Regis, all right? Anthony Barr very, very rarely comes on, and he's taken up a shitload of money, hence why we didn't have any money for the fucking free agency. I'm going to see if there's any teams out there who want to pick up a middle linebacker, because we went out there, we picked him up, and it was exciting. There was a lot of people who were out there who were stagged that we got him, and then it just turned to shit. Noah Romberg went to the Redskins. Holy shit. So you're pairing up the best quarterback in the NFL with Jordan Reed. 
Alright, so we're going to trade them next year's second, this year fourth round, for their fourth round, which is 20 picks earlier, and a second round, and we're unloading some unnecessary cap room as well. In... far. Alright, so we just picked up their first round pick, their third round pick, for our fourth round pick, next year's second, and Anthony Barr. Now, you might see that as we got ripped off, but you know we build the best players out of the draft. Time to... Fucking draft, let's go. This is my favorite part of the season. Our first pick is the 16th pick in the draft, man. So let me see, let me just first, because we have a lot of picks in the first round, let me just check out what we're being offered here. Oh, look at that, look at that. We're trading away our first pick for a second, a third, and a fifth. Oh, honestly, I'm gonna take that. That's a very, very good trade. I'm gonna take that. Uh, let's see what the jet, Jets take with that. They took a running back, are you serious? He was a bust. They just traded away their second, third, and fifth for a bust. So Harris Kaiser is there. We were just talking about this guy. Uh, first in the broad, three cone, 20 yard, M bench, A minus hit power, B plus tackle, B plus block shedding. I don't know, man. We don't. We have a couple of rounds until Nate Ragland anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and take Harris Kaiser with our first pick. That's not bad. Harris is ranked first in true talent and you drafted him at 22nd. Well, what do you know? The Dreadnoughts pick up another damn superstar. You never know. We might start incorporating a two running back system again. That would be interesting because we could draft two running backs and have that two running back system in play again. I really would like that. As it stands, Javante Quale is like the best person there, but he's not even that good though. You know what? Let's have a bit of fun with this, man. Let's go ahead and take our running back. Ooh, baby, that was a bust. This is no excuse, but we needed a back out running back anyway, so, yeah. See, after that last pick, I'm kind of confused now, because A stiff arm, A minus carrying, B plus trucking, looks like a monster, but for some reason, the combine report doesn't add up, and now I'm starting to question it. I'm gonna shut my eyes for this one, guys. I'm not gonna look. Do we have a future Dreadnought superstar in Nate Raglan, or did we just pick up a bust? Oh man, I'm hella nervous. I'm hella nervous. Oh, hoo -hoo! nice. Let's go. 75 overall. Nate Raglan, superstar development. 84 speed, 88 excel, 90 carrying, 89 trucking, 93 stiff arm, 83 spin move. Da was a running back that was really, really good, but was a normal development. We just picked up a superstar. Oh yeah, I'm so high, man. I am so high right now. I mean, there are so many quality ass backs in this draft. You know what, if there are no... Man, we also have Farlow Sykes as well, all the way down in the fifth round. This guy is a savage too, bro. We also have Zach Cole. Oh yeah, oh jeez, man. Talk about trade bait. The fastest three cone, A minus hit power. Okay, not bad. Zach is ranked 39th and you drafted him at 75th. Quick development middle linebacker. I like it. I know it sounds absurd right now, but it's either between Carlos Bonner and Damon Lacey. See, that's the thing, man. I, I just, it's not because he's a running back. I just can't pass up on an eighth player. That's ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna just take Damon Lacey. Uh, let's go ahead and take Vanda Lippet. Doesn't look promising at all. More than likely gonna be a bust. Oh, we need offensive linemen. 75, not bad. Vander is ranked 32nd. You picked him up at 139. I'll take it. Darius White. Fuck it. Not bad. Okay, well, we definitely got better than what we bargained for. All right, so checking out the official lineup going into the 2021 season. We're going to have the same offensive line as last year. We're going to change it up, and we're going to have Nate Raglan starting at running back. Strickland at quarterback, obviously. Talia Farrow at our fullback. Same receiving core, Gene Pierre, Ali Hope, and Braxton Goff. Now on the defensive end, Eugene Heron is going to get the start. We also have a Togway. We also have Zach Cole. Very easily take over for Regis. And I think I might just do that for the simple fact. We'll try him out in game one, see how he does. Now the team is looking stacked, bro. We have pretty much the same team as last year. The only thing that we needed from last year that we didn't have is a running back. And in Nate Ragland, I really feel like we have found the running back of our dreams, guys. This is it. This is going to be the revenge season. That being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the off-season for our Matter 17 relocation franchise. Dreadnought strong as always. I'm out. Peace.